Hi, hi, hi. Hello, everyone. So I wanted to come with the update that I had said I was going to bring to you guys. Um, I know it's been a bit, but here it is. Um, get you up to date. We have a press conference that's coming up at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So I want to get this out before that. Um, here is the Merced County Sheriff Office uh, page on Facebook. This is um, what they had to say. The kidnapping update on October 3rd, 2022 at approximately 11.39 a.m. Cal Fire Madera Mariposa Merced was dispatched to Buhach Road. I don't know, I could have said all of that very wrong. And Oakdale Road in Witten for a report of a vehicle on fire. The vehicle was later identified to be a a black 2020 Dodge Ram truck. The CHP Merced arrived on scene to start the investigation. At approximately 12.35 p.m., California Highway Patrol requested the assistance of Merced Police Department in an attempt to contact the registered owner of the vehicle, Ahmad, Ahmadip Sai. When the Merced Police Department arrived at the residence, they were not able to make contact with Ahmadip However, they were able to reach another family member. The family members attempted to contact Jasleen, Jasdeep, and Amadeep. When they were not able to reach their family members, they called the Merced County Sheriff's Office to report Jasleen, Jasdeep, and Amadeep, and eight-month-old Arohi missing. At approximately 1.04 p.m., our office was notified and responded to a business on South Highway 59. During the primary investigation, detectives determined that the individuals were kidnapped. We are working with the California Department of Justice, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, and other local law enforcement agencies to bring this family home safely. If you have any information regarding this incident or the whereabouts of this family, please call our tip line at 209-385-7547 your tip can be confidential. And again, here's the picture. <clears throat> this is Amadi over on the right, the uncle, and then the husband and wife and the daughter. And then this is the other update. Person of interest in custody. On October 4th, 2022, in the morning hours, Merced County Sheriff detectives received information that one of the victim's ATM cards was used at an ATM located at a bank in the city of Atwater. Investigators obtained the surveillance photo of a subject making a bank transaction where the person is similar in appearance to the surveillance photo from the original kidnapping scene. At approximately noon, working in conjunction with our local law enforcement partners, the sheriff's office received information that identified Jesus Manuel Salgado, 48 years old, as a person of interest in this investigation. Prior to law enforcement involvement, Salgado attempted to take his own life. <clears throat> Salgado is in our custody, currently receiving medical attention and in critical condition. The sheriff's office, with the help of several law enforcement agencies, continue to actively look for the eight-month-old Arahi, her parents, Jasleen, 27, Jasdeep, 36, and her uncle, Amadi, 39, who have not been found. Investigators continue to follow up on all leads and are working diligently to find the family. We continue to ask for the public's help with any information that may assist us in locating the family's whereabouts. If you have any information regarding this incident or the whereabouts of the victims, please call our tip line at 209-385-7547. The tip can be confidential. The sheriff's office will be holding a press conference on October 5th today at 10 a.m which is California time, right? So it's going to be one o'clock Eastern Standard Time at the Merced County Board Chambers location on the third floor of the Merced County building at 2222 
M Street, Merced, California, 95340. Due to limited space, we're asking that all media personnel have media credentials with them. Um, and then there is an update on this really quickly. And it just said that it was determined that the photo of the person at the ATM was not the person of interest that is in custody. The victim's ATM card was used. However, we are working with the bank to obtain the correct photo. Just kind of interesting, right? That they still found the person. That the card was used by the wrong person. But they had the wrong picture of the person at the ATM. A bit strange. But <clears throat> regardless, they, they say they've got him. Um, so this is him. Now that I'm looking more, what is in his hand? Right? What is this? And what is this? Does this look like a barrel of a gun? Right? Does this look like the top? I can't tell. I just happened to take a little better look. I don't I don't know. I don't know. But and then there's this picture. Um the fact that it says that he's in critical condition isn't um the best sign in the whole world, right? Um because obviously we'd like him well, I, I don't, I can't speak for everybody, but I'd like him to survive so that we can maybe get some answers and get the location of the family um, and that justice can, can, and work, work its way, right? Um, but I will show you guys a, um, that's the update here. And like I said, I'll be bringing the press conference to you guys. Uh, as long as I can find a channel that's reporting on it, which um, I'll be looking for, I absolutely should be able to bring the press conference to you guys at one o'clock. Um, here, I'm going to bring you guys over to this really quickly. Let me get it brought up. Um, all right. So I'm going to show you a couple of videos really quick before we... We end this uh, just to show you guys what's being said about this case. Making headlines around the state, sheriff's deputies in Merced have taken a person of interest into custody related to the kidnapping of a family of four. Early this morning, Merced County Sheriff's detectives received information that one of the victim's ATM cards was used at a bank in the city of Atwater. Investigators obtained this surveillance photo linking a person of interest to the scene of the kidnapping. He's identified tonight as 48-year-old Jesus Manuel Salgado. Police say Salgado attempted to take his own life while being taken into custody but survived. There's still no word, though, on the whereabouts of the victims. Jennifer Ortega has more from our sister station in Fresno. Please think for us, and I'm begging in front of people who took my family away from me. Please, please, please let them go safely. A wife and cousin speaking out less than 24 hours after their family was kidnapped from their family owned business, Unison Trucking. My husband, my brother in law, my sister in law, and my niece, they are missing. And uh, my niece, she's just eight month old kid, and she doesn't. She doesn't have any food with them. She says her husband, 39-year-old Ahmad Deep Singh, was going to work around 8 a.m. And it wasn't until 11 when they got a call from the business saying no one was at the front desk. I tried to call him so many times around 11, uh, 45, but his uh, phone is directly going in voicemail. Merced County deputies say 27-year-old Jocelyn, her husband, 36-year-old Jazdeep Singh, and their baby reportedly taken by this man, seen on surveillance video released by the Merced County Sheriff's Office. Think about the little kid. She they have a small tears of eight, that. Eight month old. We have a low wife out there that kidnapped an eight-month-old baby, her mom, her dad, and her uncle. So far, we have no idea why the kidnapping. We have no motivation behind it. The four of them taken against their will. The sheriff now using all resources to track them down. We've got detectives out canvassing. We've had aircraft out looking for evidence. People are going to be working 24 hours on this until we get a break in this. The family pleading with the suspect to let them go. 
We just we, want to tell him, please bring us family safe to us. We don't care what's going on, what happened, but all we need to care is please let those people go and can't have them to come to us safely. As Jennifer Ortega reporting, we'll keep you updated on that story. Okay, that was KGT. And we have um, next, I want to take you to KCRA News. And also, I was just reading an article. It says that they were taken at gunpoint. So it is very possible that what I saw was a gun. I mean, I don't know that it was, but um, it also indicates that um, this one says that he's critically wounded, right? So I guess wounded could happen a, a couple of different ways, but it's possible he used a gun and tried to take his life. And that's how he's critically wounded. I don't know. Maybe they'll say it in here, but. We have some breaking news out of Merced County. Deputies say a person of interest is in custody in the kidnapping of a family, but there's still no trace of the four people who were taken. That person of interest has been identified as 48-year-old Jesus Salgado. Deputies say he tried to kill himself before officers moved in. He is in critical condition. Deputies say they got a break when someone tried to use one of the victim's ATM cards at a bank in Atwater. That is what led them to Salgado. While a person of interest has been found, the kidnapping victims have not been seen yet. They were taken from their business, Unison Trucking, and family members are pleading for their safe return. And deputies say that they were called about a pickup truck on fire about 1140 yesterday morning. About 1230, deputies say they tried to call the owner, Amadeep Singh, but they couldn't get a hold of him. They called other family members. Those family members couldn't get a hold of Amadeep, Jasleen, her husband, Jasdeep Singh, and their eight-month-old baby. Deputies say they went to the Singh's business around one o'clock and determined the whole family had been kidnapped. We've got detectives out canvassing. We've had aircraft out looking for evidence. People are gonna be working 24 hours on this until we get a break in this. He's staying for us and I'm begging in front of People who took my family away from me. Please, please, please let them go safely. Mm. Police continue to ask for help finding the missing family. Wow, that's so sad. That's so sad. Um, we have uh, KMPH Fox 26 News. This will be um, the last video I'll show you. It's kind of a, a little bit longer. It's called The American Dream Became the American Nightmare. All right. It's been, it's, it's been uh, almost a day now uh, since your family members were taken. Do you guys have any new information about what's going on, how the investigation's going? The sheriff's office hasn't told us what's going on with the investigation, so we're not really privy to it. So what have what have you learned from friends through you know family members, the connection there? So it seems like you know the pictures have already been released by the sheriff's office. Our cousins went into work this uh, or yesterday morning. Um, they have a trucking business. So at some point, it seems like there was somebody outside that, you know, was picking up trash, possibly. That person was let into the business to possibly give them more trash to take with them if he was recycling and offered like beverages, like, hey, you're here. Why don't we give you juice to make you whole? And it seems like at some point that whole encounter like turned into a kidnapping. It's somebody that none of the family knows. And we've all reviewed, you know, the pictures from that video surveillance that the SO shared already. So you don't think that they they had any idea who this who this guy was? No, because no, we don't. The cousin, like, there's one of our cousins that was there without his wife, without his child. Like, his wife is with us, and she's reviewed that video surveillance to see if it was maybe an employee that worked there, a former employee, um, or just somebody that they have maybe an acquaintance with, and she has not recognized him. She's never seen him before. Now you said they they have a trucking trucking company. Did they did he uh, kidnap them and, and make them drive in a 
in a truck or anything like that, their car, any? We don't have any vehicle description, like, you know, how they got out of there. What kind of, what kind of business when it comes to trucking or do they do, do you know? It's okay. called short haul, long haul trucking. It's a transportation and we have the trucks, we have the drivers and we just haul the product like a water, soda, chips to the all stores. Okay, so nothing like, let's say gold or diamonds or anything. No, sir, no. this is a really just, you know, water, soda, chips, juice. This is some, all like a grocery stuff, that's it. Now, have your cousins lived in, in Merced for a long time? They immigrated here from Punjab in India in the early 2000s. So they've been living in the Merced area since they've arrived. Do they keep a pretty, you know, quiet lifestyle? I mean, anybody that they, they might have pissed off over the course of time? You know, we've been thinking about this, and now they live a pretty uh, normal lifestyle. They live in a neighborhood near Merced College. Um, they drive normal cars like minivans and pickup trucks. They wear normal clothes like the ones that you guys already have in the pictures that were released to the media. Go to church every Sunday. I mean, it's a very simple life, man. No clubs, no parties, nothing. So what are you guys doing now? We're trying to like, you know, piece it together ourselves. We're asking, you know, the media help us. We're asking the community help us. Um, my cousin, I think went out, you know, you get uneasy sitting here, it felt almost helpless. So when we do start feeling helpless, some of these guys have gone out to the committee themselves to see if they can pick up some pieces, find some clues, and, you know, try to get some, you know, idea of what's happened here, it's unsettling. Anything else you can tell me that uh, there uh, there seems to be some difference as far as the names uh, Jazz Deep. I've seen I've seen Dairy. I've also seen Sing. Jazz Deep uh, is a his daughter's name is Aruhi Dairy. Jazz Deep Amandeep they both have the name like Sing, not Dairy. Amandeep usually Sing is a middle name. And last name is Derry. I don't know how it's on their passports. So Singh is like a Smith, like a middle name here in, in a Punjab. So everybody has a Singh on the names. But last name is Derry, D-H-E-R-I. But some people, people put only Singhs on it. Just a Amandeep Singh, Jasdeep Singh. But when the Aruhi, the daughter born, they have just her name, Aruhi Derry. Okay. All right, guys, anything else you want to say? So, like, you know, is this going to be a news writing, what you're doing? Is this going to be televised, broadcasted? Like, you know, what's the platform that we're this we will have be, here? This will be on our 10 o'clock news. It'll also go on our website. So, and uh, after I talk with you, I'm going to call the sheriff and see if there's anything new. Okay. Is this going to be, like, a written format is it going to be pretty much what we told you and is it going to be in a nightly broadcast that's what we're trying to figure out yeah it'll be it'll be in a it'll be a roughly a minute and a half two minute story in our broadcast tonight at 10 o'clock on uh, fox 26 and then we will also put it on our website and they'll use short clips from from you too Okay, we have a few things that we want to say. I don't know if he'll make it, but you guys can decide that on yourselves. If we can give at least a statement. Sure. Kind of give some clarity to everybody what we're asking for. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, so we want to thank, you, obviously, you guys for giving us a platform to get this story out there. Um, my uncle and my aunt and my cousins immigrated here to this country in the early 2000s, uh, seeking the American dream. Um, through dedication and hard work, they attained that goal. Yesterday, that American dream really became American nightmare. My cousins are missing, uh, along with my eight-month-old infant niece. My family is feeling every emotion you can imagine. Despite the shock and that anger we feel, we are trying to abide by the principles of our faith, the Sikh faith, such as Charvi Kla, which is keeping high spirits. We want to thank the men and women of the Merced County Sheriff's Office for their professionalism and hard work 
In the coming days, we implore them to continue to investigate, explore every lead, remain diligent and persistent and continue to work this case. To our governor, Californians rely on law and order. Living this way is unacceptable. Please deploy every resources resource available to you. Reach out to my family and reassure them of what your office is doing. To the suspect, there is no honor in kidnapping an innocent baby. What you've done and what you're doing is cowardly. Let them go. Let them go. Lastly, we are asking the media, everyone watching, to spread this message. All we wanted, just uh, our family returned to us back safely. That's all we wanted. Even whoever the people took them, I request them to please turn them to home safely. And even I don't want to press any charges against them if they've sent them safely home. That's it. Okay, so that's what we have <clears throat> right now. Take that off the screen for you. Um, there's uh, other videos out if you'd like to look for them. You know, you, you definitely can find it. There are some other videos that are out um, discussing it, but that was from family uh, on that last one that we just watched. And then prior to that, you had the wife and, and the other family member, right, that was talking. So I wanted to be able to show you guys some of the family and um let you know what the police said he's been arrested but he's critically wounded uh i don't know what what exactly is going to happen moving forward i certainly hope that he survives it right so maybe maybe we, we can find out where they are um let's hope that they're all right and uh press conference will be coming up here in about one hour so I'm going to wrap this up and get it uh, put out for you guys. Um, thank you so much for listening, and I will see you guys in about an hour. Take care, guys.